Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic fans. Today, I have a treat for you. This is going to be another Hall of Fame game. And uh, we are going to play with those very nice Hall of Fame cards. As you can see, these are awesome cards. I love this, this set. And uh, these are two Hall of Fame teams that you have not seen before, I don't think, uh, on my channel at least. And, and I randomly put all the Hall of Famers into different teams. So even if you have a Hall of Fame set, you've never seen these particular teams unless you just happen to make your own teams and they came out exactly the way mine did, which is uh, quite unlikely. So anyway, these are two teams that I don't think I've played before against each other. In the past, if you recall, I numbered my teams, I think, 1 through 9, Hall of Fame Team 1, Hall of Fame Team 2. This time, I'm going to be a little more colorful with it, and we're going to give the teams a name. So today, it's going to be Comiskey's Socks versus um, Baker's Dozen. So the team captain of the Comiskey Socks will be uh, Charles Comiskey. And the captain of the Baker's Dozen will be home run Baker, who really wasn't that much of a home run hitter in comparison to today's home run hitters, but for his time, he was. So, um, we are going to uh, we'll go over the pitchers and the lineups. In fact, I will show you my score sheet so that you can see what we're looking at here. So that's going to be the lineup for Comiskey's socks. There they are. And there's their ratings. So I don't even have to say them. And there's Carlton. You can see down there in the pitcher's box. And so take a good look at that. These are going to be how they're going to line up. Brock, Collins, Brett, Bench, Crawford, Frank Chance, Boudreaux, Combs, and Comiskey. And then for the Baker's Dozen, you're going to have Carew, Ernie Banks, let's play two, except we're not going to play two today, Carl Yastrzemski, Hank Aaron, Cap Anson, Home Run Baker, Luke Appling, Bresnahan, and Earl Averill in center field. And there you go, Cy Young will be pitching today against Steve Carlton. As you can see, Steve Carlton won a Cy Young, but Cy Young is the Cy Young. So, with that having been all said and done, we are going to get on with this game. And we are going to lead off with Lou Brock for the Comiskey Sox. And he gets a 1-5, which is a walk. And again, I am using the... Um, I'm using the... Uh, um, basic side because that's what I always do. So he gets on with a walk. Eddie Collins comes up. Now Brock of course very famous for base stealing and in fact he is a stealing double A so we are going to send him. And he makes it. Um, the opposing catcher is Bresnahan but Bresnahan would not have gunned out Lou Brock with an 11. So We've got a man at second with no outs and Eddie Collins up. And that's a 6-12 and that'll be on uh, Cy Young's card. 6-12 is a fly ball right field B, so there's one away. And that brings up George Brett. Of course, you remember George Brett, 1980, he hit 390. And uh, his lifetime statistics were a 305 batting average and 317 home runs. And he gets a 311, which is a single, and you got to believe that they may send um, they may send uh, Brock on that. He is a running one to 17. I'm just going to roll the dice. We'll see if we have to call it into question 18 oh my god who is the uh let's see that would have been the right fielder so the right fielder is hank aaron you know hank aaron gunned him let's just uh i mean let's 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 get that out of the way right now he has a oh wait a minute wrong guy 
There we go. He has a negative two. So he is gunned. Lou Brock is gunned out at the plate trying to score and causes the second out. So we had a single by Brett and um, out um, at home plate, I guess we'll call that. And then Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench coming up. And he gets three seven, which is a double one to nine or a single double asterisk. And that is going to actually be a single double asterisk. So that puts runners at the corners and allows Brett to move to third. And now you got Wahoo Sam Crawford. And uh, for the lifetime statistics for Crawford, he hit 309 with 97 home runs. Of course, in a time where it was a lot of dead ball era time, and so that's not that bad. 6-5 on Cy Young is a pop out to short, and so they do not score. They don't score because Lou Brock tried to stretch it on Hank Aaron, and it, and Hank Aaron was having none of it. So there uh, is no runs in the first for the Comiskey Sox, and that will bring to the plate the um, the Baker's dozen. And Rod Carew is leading off for the Baker's dozen in the first inning of this ball game. And he gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball to second base, so he's out. That brings up Ernie Banks. Let's play two. And again, I say we are not playing two. But 3-9, he gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball third base, two away. Five to three. And that brings up Yastrzemski. Karl Yaz Yastrzemski. And he gets a 5-8. And that is, on Carlton's card, is a fly ball. And, so, uh, and that is a fly ball to center field. So he gets a fly out to eight. And that is a very quick inning there for the... Uh, for the Baker's dozen, they didn't even get a guy aboard. So we're going to the top of the second with Frank Chance, who does not have uh, Tinkers and Evers and is probably happy that he doesn't. That is a 2-9, and that's going to be a home run 1-3, to three, but a double. Actually, it is a double for him. So the, the, um, the Comiskey Sox are all over Cy Young. I mean, they've had runners on base in both of the first two innings, and they almost scored in the first. Uh, Lou Boudreau is up. He gets a 5-9, and that is a... That is going to be a double. So that... Boudreau doubles him home, and now they do have a run. And that brings up Earl Combs to the plate. Earl Combs, of course, on the 1927 Yankees. I say, of course, I don't really know, but I think he was. Um, 325 batting average, uh, 309 doubles lifetime, and 58 home runs. And he gets a 5-9, and that is also going to be a home run 1-2, to two, but it's not. It's a double, but it does score another run. So Combs doubles in a run, and Cy Young is getting his ass handed to him here pretty early. And that brings up Charles Comiskey, the owner of my White Sox back in the day. He was notoriously thought to be um, a tight-fisted owner with the money. But actually, if you dig into it, I've heard historically that he paid his players on a par with most players or most teams, and maybe even a little better. So... I don't really know what the true story is. If anybody knows, leave a comment below. But that's a 6-7, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman X. And uh, Cy Young's second baseman, 
just happens to be Karu, who is not good, and that is a 12. He is a 4 at 2nd. So uh, 12 and over to 4 is an out. And uh, that would, let's see, that's an out 4. So I think that means if no runners are forced, run, runners hold. So still a runner at 2nd, and Comiskey grounds out. Um, Four to three. And that brings Lou Brock to the plate. Sweet Lou. We did not go over Lou Brock's statistics. He hit 293 lifetime and he stole 938 bases. And he gets a 4 3, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is Yaz, and he is a 1, and that's a 9, and that's probably going to be an out. And it is. It's an out 5. Run around third scores, but others hold, so it's 2 away. And he uh, gets a fly out to 9, I think. Yep. Yeah. And now Eddie Collins. Eddie Collins, who was on my White Sox in 1919, on the Black Sox team, but he was not one of the Black Sox. Uh, at least not according to him. <laughs> or most, uh, most accounts. He walks, so he does get aboard with a walk. And now you have runners at first and second and George Brett up. No pitcher wants to see that. Let me just tell you that right now. And that is a 5-5. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for Cy Young's team is Luke Appling. And he's a 2. And that is a 4. Probably an out. And it is. And so Brett goes six to three and he's out but the Comiskey Sox score two runs I was gonna write a three I wanted to make them even better but actually they score two and they have a two nothing lead going into the bottom of the second inning and Hank Aaron hammer and Hank Aaron who had the home run record until it was it was broken by Barry Bonds. And yes, I'm going to say Barry Bonds broke it. I don't really care about the steroids. If you know about me, you know that I'm all for doing whatever you got to do to be the best you can be. So, and it, Bonds didn't have to join the Army to be all he could be. He just had to take steroids. So, uh, we've got a 4-5 on Steve Carlton. That's going to be a strikeout. So, Aaron is down on strikes. And they just can't get anything going against lefty Steve Carlton, the lefty man. And you got Cap Anson, who was notoriously racist. I just wanted to bring that up. I mean, you want to you wanna cover all the bases here and be honest about everybody. That's a 4-8 on Carlton's card, which is a single. So Cap Anson gets a hit. And that is going to be the first hit for the Baker's Dozen. And Cap Anson gets it. That brings up Home Run Baker. And, you know, Home Run Baker, lifetime, he only had 96 of them. So, again, not really close in, in modern day. I mean, 1-4. Uh, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. And that puts runners at the corners. So, Baker is helping his own team, his namesake team. As he gets a hit off of lefty Steve Carlton and Luke Appling steps in to bat against him. And that is a 4-7 and that is a strikeout. So there's two down with runners at the corners. And Roger Bresnahan, the catcher for the New York Giants, the New York Baseball Giants. And he gets a 2-5, which is a single with an 18, and it is a single and drives in a run. And so the um, uh, the Baker's Dozen is now only down by one run. And Earl Averill, their center fielder, steps to the plate and steps in against lefty. 
and he gets a 5-6 which is a ground ball to the shortstop and his shortstop is a 2 and that is a 17 probably an out and it is and so he goes 6-3 to three and ends the inning but the Baker's Dozen does get a run and they will be back at the top of the order next inning in the third. But we got Johnny Bench right now going up against Cy Young, who is still out there, despite the fact he's given up some extra base hits and some hits and should be down 3-1 instead of 2-1. He's still out there because, you know, he's Cy Young. So we've got a 6-5, and that is a pop-out to short. So Bench is out. Uh, so let's see, uh... By the way, um, Cy Young in his career was had 511 wins, 316 losses, and an ERA of 263. That brings up Sam Crawford. Wahoo Sam with one down. And he gets a 611. And that's going to be a fly to right. And the right fielder is a 1. And that's a 17. And that would probably be an out. And it is. So Wahoo Sam... Flies out to Aaron and Frank Chance. Coming up, the uh, Chicago Cubs first baseman. He gets a 5-9. Um, and that is going to be a home run 1-2 again, but it's a double. And uh, that has been a bugaboo right there. Because that roll has come up three times. And Frank Chance has, a, has his second double of the game. He's two for two with two doubles and that brings up Lou Boudreau with two down. And he gets a 4-4 four, four, and that is a fly to center. Their center fielder is a uh, one and that's a that's a nine and that is an out. So Boudreau flies out and they do get a hit but they don't get anything else and so it's still two to one and as I said we are at the top of the order here in the bottom of the third for the Baker's Dozen and that means Rod Carew. Now Rod Carew I don't know if I said his lifetime statistics yet he hit 328 with 92 home runs and stole 353 bases and he gets a 2-9 which is a walk. So Carew is aboard with a walk. And you would have to think maybe he's going to steal. He is a double A. He is going to steal. And that's an 11. And again, I know Johnny Bench is the catcher trying to throw him out, but he is not going to throw him out on 11. So he steals the base. And that brings up Ernie Banks. And he gets a 310, which is a pop out to third. So there's one away. Pop out to five. Carl Yaz Yastrzemski, the great Boston Red Sox outfielder. He gets a 410. And that is, let's see, yes, we are looking at uh, third base. Third, the third baseman is a two, and that is home run Baker. And that's a 12, so that's going to be something, I think. It is. It's a one base error. Baker, not helping his cause for his own team, allows Yaz on by an E5. And uh, that also allows... Carew to move over to third. You got runners at the corners, one out, Hank Aaron up. Hammer and Hank, and he gets a 210. That's a ground ball, double play to third base, and that ends the inning and the threat, and everybody is out. Let's see, what was that? Ground ball, third base? Uh, let's see, 210. Third base, yep. So that is a 5-4-3 double play. That ends the inning. Aaron out, and he's 0-2 with a strikeout and a ground into a double play. Not 
the typical Hank Aaron you would expect to see or performance from him. But anyway, they do get no runs there. And Comiskey's Sox come back up again, this time with Earl Combs. And uh, you can see Cy Young is still out there. I mean, the game is still 2-1. to one. So, And he is Cy Young, like I said. 5-8, though. That is a triple one to six, and it's actually going to be a single. Single by Earl Combs. He just cannot keep these guys off the bases. I don't know what is wrong with him today. But that brings up Charles Comiskey, my main man, the owner of the White Sox. And he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. So he gets a K, and there's one down. And that brings to the plate Lou Brock. And he gets a 6-10, and that is a fly ball to center field. So he flies out. Um, to eight and that brings Eddie Collins another of my main men second baseman for the 1919 Black Sox and he gets a 5-8 and that is a triple one to six and it's really going to be a single double asterisk and does not score the run runners are going to be at the corners they really needed that to come through for them to tie the game but they do have George Brett up at the plate so, you know, and that is a 3-7, which is a ground ball, first base A, and that is it. George Brett grounds out to first. And uh, we, ha we have no runs, even though, again, Cy Young came very close to giving up the, uh, the runs, but he did not. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. And that brings up Cap Anson in the fourth inning to lead it off. And he is on the day one for one with a single off Carlton. He gets a 5 12 ground ball pitcher, so Carlton throws the ball over to. Uh, Frank Chance and eliminates Camp Anson. So that is a 1-3. to three. And that brings Home Run Baker to the plate. He can use one of his namesakes right here. He gets a 4-10. Four, 4-10 four, ten. Four, ten is a fly ball center field. So he gets a fly out to 8. And there is 2 down. And um, Luke Appling is up. And Luke Appling gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a line out to shortstop. Could have been a single, but it wasn't. Line out to 6. And that ends it. And they just really can't get much of anything going here as we move to the top of the 5th. And uh, I guess the manager is going to try to give Cy Young at least 5 innings. And Johnny Bench will be batting against him here leading off the pitch. He gets a 6-9, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. That's one away. <clears throat> that brings up Wahoo Sam. Wahoo Sam Crawford. And he gets a 5-6, and that is going to be a pop out to second. And finally, Frank Chance, and well, maybe not just finally, if he can get on, there will be more batters. But right now, that's a 4-6, and that is a fly ball <coughs> to right field. So, fly out to 9, and they go, they go quickly there. That's one of the few times that the Comiskey Sox have gone quickly in this game. We go to the bottom of the 5th. And you got Roger Bresnahan, the catcher. They can't get much going against these fellas. 6-6, uh, six, six, that's a strikeout. So Bresnahan with the K. Earl Averill, the center fielder. He 
He gets a 6 8. That would be a single one to 7 or a line out to short, and it is a line out to short. And then that brings Rod Carew back to the top of the order for the Baker's Dozen. And that is a 5 8. And that is a fly ball center field. So no runs there. And uh, going to the top of the sixth, we are going to have a pitching change. All right, so we've got a pitching change here for the sixth inning, and that is going to be Jack Chesbro coming in for Cy Young. You can close the book on Cy Young. He pitched five innings. He allowed seven hits, walked two, and only allowed two earned runs. So with that, we are going to Lou Boudreau of the Comiskey's Sox. Batting against now, Jack Chesbro. Jack Chesbro life, lifetime was 198 and 132 with an ERA of 2.68. He is coming in in relief because he does have a relief rating. So Lou Boudreau batting against him. That is a 4-6 and that is going to be a line out to third base. That brings Earl Combs up. And he gets a 4-10, and that's going to be a fly to center. And uh, Chesbro's center fielder is Earl Averill, who's a 1. And that is a 12, and that is likely an out. And it is. And then that brings Comiskey up with two down. So let's see. And that is going to be a 3 9, and that is a line out to third base. So two line outs to George Brett, and or no, two line outs to, to home run Baker, and a fly to center, and no runs come across in the sixth. For Comiskey Sox, we go to the bottom of the sixth where the um, Baker's Dozen is trying to get another run at least off Steve Carlton, who's been pretty stingy so far. Ernie Banks comes up, he gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a single. So uh, he does get a board, and that is another hit. Yaz is up. Let's see if Yaz can help keep this going. That is a 6-3. That is going to be a fly ball to left field. Their left fielder is a 3. That is a 16. 16 and 3 is an out 4. Runners hold. One away. That brings Hank. Cameron Hank. He's up. And that is a 2-3, which is a line out to shortstop, two away. And with two down and a man aboard at first, you've got Cap Anson up at the plate. And he gets a 3-11, which is a walk. So now you got two runners on. And home run Baker up. And of course, again, this would be a great spot for his name to that's a 3-5. It's a single double asterisk, and it does tie the game, though. So Baker gets a single. That brings home Ernie Banks. And the game is tied up with Luke Appling. And that's going to be a 6-4, which is a center field fly ball. And the center fielder for their team is Earl Combs, who is a center field two. And that's an 18, and that is going to be an out. So Appling flies out. But they do get another run, and that ties the game. And now you've got a 2-2 game going to the top of the seventh inning. And Lou Brock at the top of the order for the Comiskey Sox in the top of the seventh. And that's going to be a 3-7, which is a single. 
and Brock is aboard again. And you'll recall he was gunned out at the plate um, back in the first inning, but he did steal and he's going to try to do that again. And that's a 16. And now we do have to bring in the throwing arm of uh, Bresnahan. He was right on top. He has a throwing arm of negative three. So he is out. So Lou Brock has made two costly base running mistakes for, <laughs> for the Comiskey Sox. And uh, I'm just going to write gunned right there. And so there is one down with um, Eddie Collins up. And you got to believe that uh, Comiskey's not too happy with, uh, with Lou Brock right about now. Eddie Collins up and he gets a 5-3 and that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder and he is a 1. And that is a 9 so that's an out, 2 away. Eddie Collins flying out. Of course, you know, let's see if that even cost him because you got to think if George Brett gets out here, it probably, it, or, I, it, I don't want to say it probably wouldn't have mattered, but it, it might not. He gets a 3-3 though, and that's a walk. So um, it, now, you're, now you're getting into the territory where it might have mattered. And that brings Johnny Bench to the plate. Johnny Bench, of course, played contemporarily with George Brett. And uh, they got a, he's got a 3-9, but that's a ground ball third base. And so the third baseman just throws over to first. And um, they're out. And you go to the bottom of the seventh in a 2-2 game. 2-2, you would expect a really good game between two Hall of Fame teams. And this is not disappointing especially against uh, a game where the starting pitchers were Steve Carlton and Cy Young. And now you got Roger Bresnahan up, and he gets a 2-7, and that is a fly ball to left. So he's out. Yeah, let's see. Earl Averill is up. And he gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball to second base. So that's two away. And two away quickly, and Rod Carew is up. And he gets a 1-7. That is going to be a single. So, no, this it's the other, the red team. Okay, so Rod Carew with a board with a single, and let's see if someone can knock him around and score, and that would be Ernie Banks trying to help with that effort. He gets a 3-8, though, and he strikes out. So Ernie Banks striking out for the final out, and no runs come in in the eighth or in the seventh for them, and uh, we go to the top of the eighth. Top of the eighth with the Comiskey's socks up, and that's going to be Wahoo Sam, who played for the Detroit Tigers. I don't know if I said his stats. He hit 309 though, lifetime. Yeah, I think I did. 97 home runs. And he got a 2-6, which is a not a home run. It's a triple, though. He goes all the way to third, and now you know they got to bring the infield in. I hate bringing the infield in. You know me. But in this particular case, that is absolutely needed. And Frank Chance comes up. And he gets a 112, which is a fly ball left field B, and will score that run. So there's the go ahead run. Frank Chance with a fly ball that um, scores. Scores the run in the form of Sam Crawford, and now Lou Boudreau is up with one out, nobody aboard. 3-9 is a fly ball to center field, and that brings Earl Combs up to the plate. 
and he gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a double. Earl Combs cranking a double out. And Comiskey is now up, trying to knock in another run. 4-9, it looks like for him. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 2, that is a 9. We will see what that results in. It's a one-base error. Error, error, nomad from Star Trek. So you've got Comiskey on by an error by the shortstop. which also moves Combs over to third. There is two down, though. Not one. And uh, Lou Brock is up, and you know that Comiskey's giving him the stare. <clears throat> and he gets a 2-9, which is a single and knocks in another run. That probably atones for it right there. Probably atones for all of his mistakes. As another run comes in, and Comiskey Sox have a two-run lead now, and uh, Eddie Collins up with runners at first and second and two down. And that is a 5-10, and that is a pop-out to first base. So Collins gets a pop-out to three, and now we are going to the... Um, there's two runs scored in the eighth for them. We're going to the bottom of the eighth with um, the Baker's Dozen player leading off is Yastrzemski. And that is a 5-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. His third baseman is Brett, and he's a two. <coughs> but that's going to be an error on Brett. It's a one-base error. So Yaz is aboard on an error by Brett. A lot of errors in this game. That brings Hank, Hammer and Hank up to the plate. He gets a 110, and that's a home run. And now we got a tie game again. You know, that's what we got. Hammer and Hank, Aaron, who had the home run lead until Barry Bonds took it over from him. Knocks in the tying run. And now Cap Anson is up. And this is uh, one hell of a game, I gotta say. And that is a 211, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That'll be the first out. One down, nobody on. Home run Baker at the plate. He gets a 5-7. That's a single. So you got to think maybe Lefty's getting a little tired out there. He might be getting a little gassed. You got Luke Appling up. Luke Appling gets a 2-7. Single double asterisk. And they are going to look at the bullpen right now because we get Pete Alexander up in the uh, bullpen for the for the uh, Comiskey Sox. But right now, Lefty is going to face Bresnahan with uh, one down and runners at the corners. They're going to play back for the double play. They're, it's risky, but they're going to play hopefully. And that is a 3-8, which is a ground ball B, but that does knock in the run. They played the risk, and they lost on the risk. Bresnahan gets a uh, fielder's choice RBI. And um, that scored Baker. And now they have the go-ahead run. Earl Averill is up. Um, there is two outs, so they're gonna they're gonna keep Carlton out there. See if he can get through this. Two four to fly ball left field, and he does get through it. But they got 
three runs right there and they took the lead and so now you're in the top of the ninth your Comiskey's socks you need a run very badly and George Brett is the guy that's leading off for you is that right that is right I mean you know they're all Hall of Famers so they're all quite good George Brett getting a 2-3 is a ground ball to the first baseman so he's out and we will um, we will call that uh, three to one. And Johnny Bench, Johnny Bench is up with one down, nobody on, needing a run. That's a three ten. It's a ground ball to the pitcher. So Chesbro throws the ball on over to Cap Anson for the second out, and that's going to be one to three. And now they're down to their final out with Wahoo Sam up. And he gets a 2-6, which is a double. Or no, triple. Triple. Wahoo Sam with the triple. And so now they've got a man 90 feet away. And they have to see who that person is that's going to try to knock him in. And that is Frank Chance. And, uh, hmm. You gotta ask, do they really want a pinch hitter here? I mean, I would ask that question. They are. They are going to pinch hit Jake Beckley. Jake Beckley was a better hitter over his career batting average wise at 308. And so he will come in and pinch hit. I mean, you know, I gotta make it. I gotta make it some kind of exciting. So Jake Beckley is going to pinch hit. He hit 308 lifetime, as I said, and he had 86 home runs. And he gets a 36, which is a pop out to first base, right between everything. And that is a pop out to three. That ends the game. They got no runs. And so the Comiskey's Sox go down in defeat by the score of the final score of five to four in a very good game between two Hall of Fame teams. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off.